US airman was suspicious and said, you know, I, I think my wife is trying to kill me. So he decided to basically install a camera. Well, guess what? His suspicions were confirmed. Put up the picture full mass here. This is a hell of a story. So footage obtained by Law and Crime shows 40-year-old Melody Feliciano Johnson. Miss Johnson, in the picture you see, is pouring bleach into her husband's coffee machine, okay? So hidden cameras were set up by the husband, captured the multiple instances of the alleged poisoning. She is accused of committing the acts since she and her husband, who was in the US Air Force, were stationed in Germany in March 2023. It then continued months later when they were moved back to the States at a base in Arizona. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. For CNN, the statement of probable cause from court documents says the Johnsons were still living together with their child, but they were going through a divorce. Okay, that part. They were living together and going through a divorce. According to the report, the husband, um, Robbie Johnson, initially became suspicious after his coffee consistently started tasting strange. Placing pool chemical test strips in the pot, the test result came back positive for chlorine, while the tap water from the sink did not. He stated she knew that he would prep his coffee to be ready at night so that in the morning, he just needed to turn it on and make his coffee. Documents viewed by Law and Crime stated, quote, at the time he stopped drinking the coffee but continued to pretend to drink it as he did not want to make a report of this while in Germany. All right, so she's she she thinks he's still drinking the coffee that is poison. Um, that July, Robbie attempted to report his wife to the police in Arizona showing them the footage, but the camera did not clearly capture it. Per the outlet, this prompted him to buy more hidden cameras to gather sufficient evidence. The victim believed that Johnson wanted to collect life insurance benefits. Boom, I knew it, Robbie said in one of the videos while holding up a positive test strip to the camera. I can smell it, he said in another clip. As KOLD reported this week, Melody Johnson pleaded guilty to two counts of poisoning food or drink after admitting to pouring the bleach on July 11th and July 18th. She could face up to four years in prison or simply time served. Her sentencing hearing is scheduled in May uh, for May 10th. Earlier this year, a Florida woman was hit with similar charges after she allegedly put bleach, a bleach tablet uh, in her boyfriend's tea. Now, put up her picture again, because this is the, the saddest thing in the world, all right? You, you live with someone, you, you love them, or at least you all loved each other at some point. There's a child involved. And somebody is literally trying to commit murder, okay? She's pleaded guilty to the poison. Uh, obviously, somebody could die from this. On the table, four years, maybe not even four years for this very cold and calculated, measured, methodical attempt to kill somebody. On the other side, he calls the police. Police, ah, you know, I don't know. I, we can't, we really can't see what she's doing. And so, he has to now buy more cameras with someone who he knows is trying to kill him. This is insane. And if she would have probably researched a little more and figured out a way to do this without it being bleach, which was a dead giveaway, um, she may have gotten away with it. And nobody would have been the wiser. And it could have happened in Germany. All right, uh, Ben, it reminds you, man, it may not be wise to live with your spouse while going through a divorce. 
Yeah, strong point. And also, I'm not going to finish my coffee now either. <laughs> Just to be safe. Uh, yeah. It is not wise to live with somebody while going through a divorce, but also this proves just how much you never know somebody. It's just, I don't know, like I try to keep my faith in humanity up there. I try to remain a hopeless romantic being single up in years beyond when probably I typically should have had a lifelong partner already, but you just don't know people. I've been engaged and Got none engaged and end up not really knowing the person's heart at all, it turns out. And it's just a really sad state of affairs when people become so bad or just are so bad at communication that they can't talk out a problem. They can't express what is frustrating them. They can't even then just end a relationship to turn to poisoning a human being yeah. to try to get money from somebody that you love, that you have a child with. It's an unconscionable level of evil. Um, and I just don't know. I don't. I don't know. It really is like you said. It's the scariest, most shocking thing possible. You know, you can expect sometimes in this wild world to get bad stuff coming at you from strangers, from people out there who you might expect to try to do you bad, but from the people living inside your bed. I mean, I don't know how he went to bed every night for months, knowing that this person yep. was trying to kill him. Um. Very, very frustrating. And looking at my track record of dating the wrong people, do we have her number? I, I'm interested. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try to make that happen. Uh, you know, we'll invite, her. we'll invite her. We'll invite on the show because it looks like she may not get into jail time, so she may be available for you. Actually, oh, perfect. Yeah, perfect. All right.